Good morning, folks. Our usual solar satellite, SDO, is not updating. It is an internal error on the ground to be fixed soon, but we've got others filling in and top science news as usual. This is Proba 2 swap, and we see the active regions continue marching forward. They are still only producing impulsive C-class flares and not releasing CMEs at Earth. Geomagnetic conditions are continuing to be quiet as the solar wind drops back from the weak coronal hole. Purple line is plasma speed falling back down, leaving the KP index all in the green. We do have development at those active regions and the large plasma filaments. Several eruption threats still exist like this one incoming on the north, and we also expect a solar wind re-amplification from the central coronal hole either Sunday or Monday. Minor geomagnetic storms are possible from it. Heading to the weather, folks, the record hail and lightning continues. It's been happening so often that it did become a bit of a droning on to repeat it every week, but another record was set in Canada, lethal size on that hailstone, and the injuries and deaths from lightning are keeping right on their record-breaking pace of the last several years. Both expected to do nothing but continue. Let's go to Lucy, the satellite sent to study Trojan asteroids around Jupiter's orbit. It suffered an anomaly that caused a failure of one of its solar arrays to fully expand and lock into place. They are working constantly to alter and adjust so as to keep the mission alive. Animation here by Goddard SVS. Excellent paper here, even while operating within the mainstream paradigm that fails to fully credit the sun. They say that the small drop in solar forcing during the Dalton minimum in the 1800s was able to greatly enhance the volcanic uptick and cooling at that time. They suggest even a tiny nudge from the sun can have dramatic impacts on the internal dynamics. Imagine if they didn't ignore the particle and field forcing in favor of irradiance. Lastly on the docket today, Snowball Earth. Despite all the evidence for these events in the past, there are still naysayers, still those who say that records don't fully support it. Until now. Two Harvard scientists show that the models used by those naysayers, which suggest more subtle variation in overall stability to the CO2 outgassing from volcanoes and other geologic sources, is not only wrong, but by fixing it to represent more rapid and extreme events, all of a sudden, the problems with Snowball Earth disappear. While operating within that same mainstream paradigm, they still were able to demonstrate that denial of the most extreme events is folly once you simply apply a more volatile planet. Uh, yeah. Tons of key links below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Hopefully SDO comes back online today. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.